Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today we have Jasmine and as you can see, we need to touch up this blonde. We need to move up her extensions. So we're gonna start out with her extensions and we've already done her other two rows, but you can see that her extensions grew out really well. This is about an eight week grow out and we're just gonna take these out and re-sew them in. So I'm using this little tool by Jay-Z Styles. It's gonna break the bead and loosen everything up so that we can slide the extensions out of her hair really easily. The extension should come out really easily like this. You don't want to tug too hard or anything. You want to do a little bit at a time. If anything is stuck, go back and make sure that you've loosened the bead enough. But other than that, they are really easy to remove. So now that we've taken them all out, it is time to put the beads back in. I've already got the first one already done, and now I'm gonna be doing the rest all the way around her head. So I like to take a little section. I like to keep these as even as possible and putting my bead around there. I like to clamp it. This is also by Jay-Z Styles, and I like to make sure that there's a little bit of hair between the bead and the scalp, just to make sure that I'm not gonna stab her head with the needle by accident or anything. This just makes it more comfortable. And you also wanna make sure that these are consistent all the way through. You don't want to have a big section, a little section, or anything like that. You want to make sure that they're all about the same size and try to get all those little extra hairs because you don't want to cause any breakage. So now I'm going to be sewing on the hair and everyone does this differently. If you do this a different way, it doesn't mean you're wrong. Um, it just means that there's a lot of different ways to do them. So if you do that another way, I would love to hear about it because I love trying new things. But the way that I like to do it is take my needle and go right down the center of the bead like this, pull that all the way through and then I would take it kind of at a diagonal and go sideways, pull that all the way through and then go the other way diagonal and this kind of creates a cup at the bottom and it kind of holds the bead and makes sure it's really in place and really sturdy. This is just the only way that has worked for me. I've tried a lot of different ways, but I love that it kind of cups the bead and keeps it in place and really nice and secure. I also want to point out that I'm using machine wefts by Jay-Z Styles. I do use hand tied wefts as well, but for this, I do like the fact that we can cut them and they add more volume, which is what we were wanting for her. But I do use machine wefts mostly because I really do love them and this is how it looks all stitched in. Now we're going to move on to her color and I'm using flash lift and 20 volume. I'm also going to be using Uberless as well as collagen powder because it does work from the inside out to make sure that we're keeping the hair really nice and strong. That's the main thing as we do not want to damage her hair hair. So we're going to be doing a partial and I'm going to start out with her face framing pieces and then I'll move on to the mohawk area. I do like to do the mohawk off of their part and for her she does part in the middle so my mohawk is going to be right down the center of her head. You wanna make sure you're taking really even sections when you are highlighting. Um, I like to do really small sections and I will pull the weaved pieces from the not weaved pieces away so that no hairs get caught. And then I like to over direct the hair to the front, place my foil and then lay the hair right back down. I'll show you again here. I'm taking a really small even section, weaving it. I'm kind of pulling the hairs apart like this and then I'll place my foil and pull the hair back and then pull it right over top of that foil again. This is gonna get it really tight to the scalp and so that we can get that blonde as close to the root as possible. So 
So I wanna point out how brassy her roots are. We definitely do not wanna keep this. We wanna ash them out as much as possible. So in between her foils, I'm gonna be placing a color that's gonna to tone this warmth out. So I'm gonna be using Shades EQ 6N and 6ABN. So this is a level six ash brown. This is gonna go in between all of her foils and tone that color out. Even though we do plan on doing a root smudge, this is just going to take care of all that warmth in between the foils so that we can get it all out. So for her root smudge, I'm using mostly 6N with a little bit of 7NA. Now that we have done the in-between color to cancel out any of that warmth, all that we have left is her new highlighted pieces. So if we put too much of the NA, it could turn her hair a green color and we definitely don't want that. So doing mostly 6N is going to match the rest and make sure that we are keeping it ashy enough, but also toning out all of that warmth as well. And of course I put a barrier on her extensions and her ends to make sure that any of this color is not going to transfer onto her blonde ends because that would be a nightmare and that's no fun. So make sure that you're putting a thick conditioner or a mask or something like that to make sure that you are protecting those ends and not getting any of that color on them. I also didn't get a clip of this, but all that I toned her with was the Fanola No Orange Shampoo. This is the blue bottle, and if you guys want to save some money on Fanola, you can go to Fanola.net and use Sydney10 at checkout. No pressure or anything, this will just save you some money on my favorite purple shampoos um, because it's so great that we didn't even need to use a toner on her. After we washed her, I put in Olaplex number six and seven and styled her with a one and one fourth Babyliss iron to give her some really beautiful waves. And this is her outcome. She is a gorgeous blonde, so, so beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.